how I prep my balloon bag. Okay, so this is just a laptop case. Lots of pockets. And inside there I got the balloons organized um, by various colors. And this is how I get the balloons in there. Okay. So, so what you do is you put them inside uh, some socks. Hopefully they're clean socks. And um, I'll show you how I get them in there. You hold the top, take the sock off, get them uh, the way you want them, and then start putting them in uh, nozzle end up. So you pinch off the bottom. And you take the sock and you put your hand in it. And you grab the cluster of balloons like that and you hold them tight. Make sure you got them tight. Let go. And then peel the sock over your hand and down onto them. And then you can stuff them into your bag. And that way when you're just low on one color, you can uh, just pull out the color that uh, needs to be changed or adjusted. For little balloons, um, I keep them up here. I have, for example, rounds, white rounds for the eyes, colored rounds, and I know there's a better way to do this. So in, in the back pocket I have uh, my, my Geos, um, agate balloons, and um, alien heads. So I don't, I don't use them as often. In the front I have the 321s and markers. If you have business cards, you put them right in there. That's for trimming the the balloons and I keep one of these um, stir sticks for um, uh, putting the alien heads inside the clear balloons when you want to put one balloon inside the other. And I keep broken white pieces in here because I get asked for unicorns a lot. So every time I break a white one or you will need part of it, I save the end piece and I stuff them in this pocket so when I make a unicorn I know where to get a horn from. The uh, 160s. My big pump back there does the 160s, but um, when I have a little broken piece of 160 I'm working with, uh, sometimes this little pump works better. On the bag itself, I have a letter M uh, opener. I have a watch, just so that uh, I can, uh, you know, tell when when it's quitting time. And in the back of the bag, carry a spare pump in case my big one back there uh, fails, which has happened once in a while. Um, the spring mechanism, and one day I'll do a video on taking that one apart, but inside is just a slingshot band connected to two pieces of wood or uh, golf keys, and uh, sometimes it breaks. So I carry a spare. If I'm in a depends on where I am. If I have a big long job to do, I'll actually take the time. I have a screwdriver and I'll uh, take that apart and fix it because it only takes a minute or so to fix it. And then I'm back in business. But if I've only got a little bit to go, I might use this or blow them up by mouth. By the way, if you're going to get a little hand pump like this, this design is the one to get. You don't want to get this kind. This handle here, uh, or whatever you want to call it, this pipe, this here tends to break. When these things fail, they break right up here. I don't like this kind. This is the kind to get. Now you have your balloon bag set up the way you want it. How do you track your expenses? Uh, it's easy to track your cost per balloon, 
because you know how much you spent per bag and how many there are per bag, you know, you know, cost you like, you know, 10, 12 cents per balloon. But uh, how many do you use? Uh, you're not going to count every balloon when you get back. So uh, what I do is I weigh in the bag. I use a luggage scale like this. And uh, what I do is when I order balloons, like uh, these ones here, uh, when they come in, I take them all out of the box. I put them in grocery bags and I weigh the entire order. So if I spent $400 on balloons, divide that by you know how many grams there are in that uh, order, it gets my cost per gram. And I average that out throughout the year. I keep track of it on a spreadsheet. Like this year so far, I've bought like 17 kilos of balloons. So 17,000 grams of balloons. Divide that by my total cost. I have my cost per gram. I usually add a penny per gram on top of that for uh, practice balloons. When I go to a, when I do a job, what I do is I weigh the bag before I go, get the you know get the weight, and then when I come back I weigh the bag, and then I know how many grams I used, and I multiply that by my cost per gram that I've been uh, tracking, and I set aside that much money from that job. So if uh, I used you know 300 grams of balloons that day, whatever the cost is. I take that amount of money from that job and I set it aside. And that's, uh, that's how I make sure that I always have money to replenish my stock. And it's all about, you know, in line. I'm not setting aside too much or, or too little. So uh, weighing the bag is very handy.